this Mark's Reviews and Tutorials video. We've got a plant here that we're going to be doing a bit of work with as part of a decorative garden. So we're standing in a, in a plant and it's part of a symmetrical system, so it all looks really pretty. But this plant has gotten as big as that pot can stand. You can see how much plant is coming out. That's a lime tree to the pot. It's just getting root bound. And even though we're flooding it with nutrients, doing all the right thing, um, the leaves are showing that it's struggling. Just a lot of this sort of thing here happening. They're supposed to be a good solid green color. It's the new growth there, but uh, just showing that it's struggling. So what we're gonna do in actual fact is chop the bottom out of the pot, leaving the side of it, but just chop the bottom out because currently the roots can't get out there and they're pot bound. So all of the roots for this tree are all within the pot, which of course makes it also very susceptible to getting enough water. So what we've actually done, you can see we've started with the first one here and we've actually chop the bottom out this is a fiberglass pot so we've just chopped that piece of fiberglass out of there and uh, just using an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel in it um, and that went through that really really easy so if you look inside we've had some, some rocks in there for drainage and so forth which is great at the bottom of the pot but now we don't need that so we've bought some good quality potting mix we're going to shove up inside and have it underneath so that the roots will be encouraged to come down. And here, what's taking place now, I'm actually driving a screwdriver into the ground, just creating holes, there's clay here. So just breaking that clay up. We're gonna put some gypsum down to break the clay up. We'll dig it all up, mix a bit of potter mix in and just improve the soil here. But eventually those roots will go in. It just makes such a huge difference if a tree, I mean, this is a lime tree, so if it can get its roots into the ground, it's going to get much more permanent water. It's going to get much more nutrients and all sorts. And you can see we're putting a bit of sea salt into the ground as well, just so it makes it very attractive for the roots to dig down and get going. But uh, if you've got a plant which has overgrown its pot and it's part of a decorative situation, I mean, you can just cut it back, prune it back, keep it small. But we're wanting to get fruit out of these lime trees. So we're wanting to let them get their roots into the earth without putting big pots. It's not going to fit here. Um, so just take the bottom out so that we can uh, hopefully improve this health situation. We've got here some of the stuff that's going to be going into the soil. Organic extract, the 4131, you can see that, uh, and also the sea salt. So they're the things that are going in. This here, it's a bit like your slow release organic pellets, but this is a, 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 a whole lot cheaper. That's a really big um, packet to come down. You see here, it's a big packet, it costs the same as a little pot, and they smell when you put them out, but absolutely brilliant on your fruit and veg and all the rest of it. Highly recommend that stuff there.